From time to time, old dogs can be taught new tricks, and over the past eight years, I've come to be a huge fan of the notion of executive coaching. No longer do I think of this activity as superfluous to an executive situation, but now I see it as a necessity and part of the process that should be followed by any executive. Let's explore my reasons for that on this Beeman Report for August 6, 2014. Business has always loved sports analogies, obviously due to the similarities, but it has debated from time to time whether the executive in charge is more like the coach or perhaps the star player. Depending on the business size, the CEO's path to the top, etc., the reality is that many business leaders are more like the star quarterback, fully engaged in the game, than they are like the coach who from the sidelines moves his team toward victory. If you're able to grasp that analogy and let it sink in, I think you'll agree that most business executives, at least the ones I've met with, are much more toward the star quarterback model than they are the coach model. That's just the reality of their businesses. The owner, CEO especially, finds themselves in a world wherein they are the coach, the quarterback, and often the front line of the business. This creates inevitably a suboptimal situation for the executive, wherein several very real problems set in. First, the executive increasingly finds they are forced to make decisions in the vacuum of their own mind. There is no one in the organization they can talk to, and few outside who understand the complexities of the business they run, the emotional stresses that are playing into their decisions, and the many different outcomes driven by any given decision that sometimes can cause them to delay or be confused. Secondly, because the executive is isolated, many times they become so close to the problem at hand, they can't see the forest for the trees. This is often stated as a leader needs to spend time on their business, not in their business. True enough, but it can be very difficult to get there. The academic on paper solution versus the reality. Over the past 20 years, motivational training, sales training, and other self-help programs have grown to create a highly professional business coaching industry that serves to elevate the executive to the position of coach, at least for a time. This is absolutely critical and when properly employed can help the executive more clearly think through the problem they face every day. I mean, think about it. We know that if we physically exercise on our own, we give it perhaps 85 or even 90%. But if we have a trainer going with us, we give it 100%. We know that without a coach seeing their performance from the outside to help train them, star athletes would never achieve their star status. Executives are no different. They need a sounding board, if nothing else, and a business coach properly aligned can be a value-added sounding board. Furthermore, by engaging a coach, executives will find they no longer need to be so fully engaged in their business, but can instead focus on the business to make better decisions, which will subsequently lead to better performance, better profits, and a better overall life experience.